How to generate voice using Google Cloud Tutorials for free. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can generate your voice or you can say text to speech in your editing using Google Cloud for free. So let's get started. First thing first, what you need to have is an editing account. If you don't have an account, just go to description and create a new account using that link. You will get 15 days free trial. Now, second thing you need to have is Google Cloud account. As you can see, I have already set up everything. Now, let me just uh, switch my account. Uh, hold on a second. So, this is my paid account. So, to get uh, this Google Cloud for free, what you need to do is you have to go to their website and set up a billing. So, make sure you have set up billing in this your Google Cloud account. So, it gives you 300 rupees in credit. So, you can use those $300 uh, into use into your Gen AI projects like I am using into this text to speech. Now, as you can see here, I have have already created this workflow but you don't need to do this fancy stuff what you can do is just simply delete all of this let me just delete uh, or you can just simply drag somewhere else so this is my http notes uh, i will show you how, how i configure this and i will show you how you can set up what you have to have to get started with now as you can see here this is my HTTP node the method is post and now in the URL I have paste this uh, text to speech google APS.com URL you can just copy and paste it over over yours now then I have in the authentication I have set up the predefined credential type and that I have selected google OAuth 2 API and then I have selected google OAuth 2 API now what you have to do if you are a new you have to just simply click on this create new credential so I will just simply click on this pencil button but you have to click on this create new credentials to simply click on it and as you can see here uh, I have already entered the client ID and client secret so I will show you how you can find this client ID and client secret so you have to just copy this and what you need to do is get back to your uh, Google Cloud account now make sure you have set up the billing account because it is necessary after doing that if you are a new user into your Google Cloud and you haven't created any project till now what you can do is search over here projects or you can from the left you will find this select project option and from there you have to click on this new project so you can get the access or you can create a new project after creating your project what you need to do is click on this three lines and from there you have to go to api and services and from there you have to go to library now as you can see here we have to search for a uh, text to speech which is our tts now you have to make sure that you have uh, enabled the API. Right now, I have already enabled this, but if you are not enable this make sure you have enabled this api and without setting up your billing information you can't enable this api so next what you have to do is just go to after uh, enabling your text to api key what you need to do is go to credentials just simply click on this credentials and from there you have to create a new credential i have already a lot of credentials so i will show you how you can do that as you can see this is over 2.0 uh, 2.0 client ids now what you need to do is click on this create the credentials and from there you have to choose the what client id just simply click on it here we go you have to set up your application type which is web you have to give the name and then you have to add authorize a redirect url just simply click on this and get back to your anatan you will find this oauth redirect url just copy this and get back to your anatan uh, sorry google cloud paste this over here and click on this create button now i have already created so i will not going to create this so after creating something pop-up comes in front of you where it contains the client id and client secret but if you miss that what you can do is get back to your google cloud and select your project like this one and from here you will get the access over uh, of your client id and client secret or you know this is my client secret and this is my client id so you have to just copy this and get back to your annotant paste it over here then you have to copy or you have to add a secret again if something appears in front of you just copy this and paste it over here now in the scope section you have to paste this a uh, uh, scope over here which is uh, under url so you can copy or type or you can take a screenshot and you can access this you can access this url from the google gemini tts scopes 
you are to search this and when you open this you will get over here now you can read this document uh, this is the documentation of, for your TTS Gemini TTS you can use you can do a lot of things like you have voices options then you have uh, uh, examples you can uh, come here and watch it over here now I will just paste it over here in the scope and click on the save and after clicking on the save button as uh, in the top right corner you will see the sign in with the Google option or if you are creating uh, this authentication for the first time the button will show you here so just simply click on this and then it will open something at uh, this pop-up where you have to select the account and from here you have to go to advance and then you have to go to edit and project unsafe and then you have to click on the continue button now wait for a few seconds and as you can see here we have successfully connected our edit and uh, with your text-to-speech uh, TTS Google Cloud now after setup your HTTP node what you need to do is you have to configure the convert to file so in the top right corner you will see the plus icon and search for convert and you have to choose this one and after selecting that node what you have to do next is you have to select the base 64 string to file because this HTTP node gives us into ba uh, audio into base 64 and this node converts that base 64 into the real data as you can see here so uh, after that what you need to do is into base 64 input field you have to just drag this over here or you can just copy the name and put it put it over here now in the output file in field section you have to just type data and then you can execute this node now let's demonstrate once again and so it's giving me the json parameter validation error so let's get back and see what's the output okay so as you can see here we have the problem so make sure whenever you enter the text it doesn't contain this two comma as you can see it gives the json little bit let me just remove this and uh, let's copy this one and and just remove this one okay that's it remove this double inverted comma and this one as well i have to add comma again okay now let's try to execute this note again and boom we got our audio in the form of base 64 now we will convert that base 64 into our audio now as you can see here we have successfully converted our audio now let's view this man i'll grab the coffee now you find the perfect spot your text into uh, your voice so if you found this video helpful then subscribe to our channel and if you got any authentication error in while you are doing this just come to my discord server i will help you to fix that thanks for watching